Edgar Wright criticizes of BAFTA's ceremony. Edgar Wright has criticized the BAFTA's broadcast for missing out several awards categories from the TV broadcast. The ceremony, which is largely pre-recorded, excluded several categories from the broadcast and only aired snippets of certain winners' speeches. The Shaun of the Dead director tweeted, didn't care for the montaging of many categories on the BAFTA's telecast. Some winners had five seconds of their speech shown, but no nominees in shorts, international. Documentary and many craft categories had their names mentioned, nor any clips. Double quote. He added, they deserve a national stage too. Double quote. Wright also appeared to criticize the broadcasters for prioritizing an interview with former Spice Girl Jerry Halliwell over the winner's speech for best documentary, I mean sure, interview Jerry Halliwell but I'd love to see the Navalny winner's speech. Double quote. Airing on the BBC and hosted by Richard E. Grant and Alison Hammond, the 2023 BAFTAs received largely mixed reviews with Hammond's interview style criticized while Carey Mulligan was mistakenly declared the winner of Best Supporting Actress. All Quiet on the Western Front was the surprise big winner on the night taking home seven awards from 14 nominations including Best Film. The film also won for Best Director, Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Film Not in the English Language, Best Original Score and Best Sound. In a surprise-filled ceremony, Austin Butler also won Best Actor for his portrayal of Elvis Presley while Barry Keoghan took home Best Supporting Actor for his performance in The Banshees of Inisherin. Kerry Condon also won Best Supporting Actress for her widely acclaimed performance in The Banshees of Inisherin. The awards were also notable for largely omitting or completely ignoring other award season contenders such as Top Gun, Maverick, Women Talking and The Fablemans. Watch below, Richard E. Grant almost breaks down in tears at the BAFTAs.